It Lives Inside is such a fresh take on the possession horror genre. We always get demon possession based on Catholicism, but this time around we are taking from the Hindu religion. This demon is called Pasash, I am probably butchering that name, but is a flesh eating monster that feeds off of negative energy. This movie is a mix of horror but also generational divide. We follow Sam who's just living her basic high schooler life. When one of her classmates that she used to be close with is now super creepy looking holding a weird little jar. Apparently she found a body of a recently deceased boy from school and hasn't been the same since. Well it turns out that jar is holding an evil demon and when Sam breaks it her life turns upside down. The demon haunts her, tormenting her and feeding off her, her negative and bad energy. We also see her struggling at home with her mom stuck in her traditional ways. Confused why her daughter doesn't want to speak Hindi anymore and why she just feels so disconnected from her. Now that this demon is haunting her, she must find out more about it and what's going on with literally everything. Let's talk about the positives first. Megan Suri who plays Sam as the lead does a good job in this and we don't often see Indian actors who are the lead in American movies so it was a nice change of pace. Nauru who plays the mom does a good job as well and it was shocking to find out she's 43 because she looks easily 10 years younger. The cinematography set the tone nicely and there were some shots that I really enjoyed. The story was good and like I said before it's a nice new take on the genre even though I do think there could have been some things that they could have done better in this. The monster was pretty creepy as well and there are some eerie shots, especially the eyes in the closet. That was a big nope. I also like the struggle that she has with her mom and it's not all about the monster, but also the relationship with her mother and also her culture and how she's kind of going away from it. This movie should have been easily rated R, it falls into the same problem that Megan had when it first was released. It's just too tame for me, I wanted some gnarly bloody kills. We get one good kill which is the swing set scene, but it could have been a lot more brutal but because it's PG-13 it just wasn't. Plus I think only one person dies throughout this movie, most of the people just get hurt or maimed. Also she never really has a plan or figures out how to beat the monster until the very end. I mean there's like 20 minutes left of the movie and that's when she figures out really how to trap the monster with this ritual. They also don't really give a good motive or what drives this monster to kill or not kill. I mean, it kills one person but then spares other people, it doesn't really make much sense. Like sometimes it wants to just spook people and scare them, sometimes it wants to slash them, and the one time it wants to kill someone. Also I don't really understand why it never really wants to go after our main character, like it wants to scare her for the most part but it never really is trying to kill her throughout the movie. Near the end we finally do get a good look at the monster and while it is kind of creepy, it is pretty small and it reminds me of a really bad version of the predator because it can go invisible. Like there's a part where she throws dust on it and you can kind of see the monster and she whacks at it and it kind of makes me think why she didn't try to beat the monster physically instead of just trapping it with the ritual. And when we do get to the ritual scene, it doesn't really make much sense what is going on, like why does the monster kind of stop and then kind of attacks but kind of not really. That scene is kind of convoluted and doesn't really make too much sense. They do kind of set this movie up for a sequel, but if they do, I really hope it's rated R because I want it to be a lot more brutal. This was a fun little movie, but nothing to make me really rush back to it. That's why I give It Lives Inside a 7 out of 10. If you guys like this review, hit that like button. If you guys want to see more, hit that follow button. And as always, thanks for watching.